Hey my friends. In today's video we are going to make some aggressive future bounce like Brooks. You know Brooks creates the most aggressive drops in EDM history what makes the people in his crowd just fell over. When his song developed a couple years ago people were asking themselves how he managed to make his tracks that punchy and aggressive. This answer I will give you today guys. I asked my boy Shlo to make a track like Brooks with my future house sample pack Shadow, and he said, Alas Clark. Shlo is the most insane and known bedroom producer I'm aware of, so you really have to check him out. A Brooks style future bounce banger consists out of a few elements. A very loud and distorted lead, some background chords, a really aggressive and bouncy bass line, and some very rhythmic drums. Let's start with the leads. So you have to pick good presets in order to become a good sound. Play a bit with overdrive or fruity fast distortion to make the lead even more aggressive. I show you the leads individually right here first. To make the leads sound even more sliding you have to make some pitch bend automation right here. And to make it even more rhythmic you have to make an individual reverb automation like this. For even more groove, a some reverb reverse effects like this right here. And this are all the leads with all the effects playing together. That sounds really huge already. Now let's going further to the chords. The chords in Brooks style tracks is more of a background element which fills up the space a bit. Therefore you can use simple chord presets like this. And together they are sounding like this. Make sure to use some OTT for compression and a bit of EQ and thoughts it. For the aggressive bass line, you have to pick some really aggressive sounding presets that is punching you in the face. These are the presets Shlo used in this track. For the processing he basically used some fruity fast distortion and basic echoing. For some extra punch, he used some growl samples out of the pack that really liftings up the bass line like it is talking. The key is to pick the right presets and leveling them together correctly. Shlo is a real magician in this. Guys for the drums, it is simple but on point as possible. He used the basic elements every Eden track needs. A good kick, some claps, some perks and hi-hats, and the key is to mix it together correctly. In the Eken part he adds some more hi-hats and stuff to keep the attention of the listeners and give the track more variation. And my friends. This is basically everything you need to create a Brooks style track. It may seem simple and it kinda is, but the big key in this is the proper mixing and sound selection. To get the best sounds for this genre you have to check out my future bounce sample pack called Shadow. This pack is all you need to create professional aggressive sounding drops like Brooks. If you want to start making music like this, you have to get it and start making tracks that will punch people in the face like crazy. Only the next couple weeks you will get the pack for a huge discount with 65% off. That means instead of 104 euros, you only pay 37. So guys grab this pack before the sale is over. Link in the description. And before we listening to the end result together, you really have to check out Shlo. He is a real beast and making future bounds you won't be disappointed to give him a follow. First link in the description. Now let's lean back and listen to it.
guys thanks for watching. I love you.